In this video, I'm going to solve this question. There are two fair coins and by fair coins, we mean that heads and tails are equally likely for tosses of both. Coin one is tossed three times. Let X be the number of heads that occur. After this, coin two is tossed X times. Let Y be the number of heads we get with coin two. And we have to find the probability that X is greater than or equal to two, given that Y is equal to one. And these are the options that are given to us. So we are given that if coin one is tossed three times, let X be the number of heads that occur. So first of all, let's write the possible values of X. So X is a random variable and X can be equal to zero, one, two, or three. So these are the possible values of X. And now let's find the probability of X. To find the probability of X, let's first write the sample space. Because the coin one is tossed three times, the sample space is this. So SS means sample space. This is equal to H H H H H T H T H T H H T T H T H T H T T and T T T. So this is the sample space that we have. Now looking at this sample space, we can find the probability that X is equal to zero. Well, X will be equal to zero if we get T T T. And the probability of this is one divided by eight. So it is one divided by two multiplied by one divided by two multiplied by one divided by two. Similarly, we can find the probability of X for all the values of X. Probability that X is equal to one means that we should get only one head. So the possible outcomes are this, this, or this. So there are three outcomes. So that means one by eight, plus one by eight plus one by eight. So this is equal to three by eight. Now let's find the probability that X is equal to two. So for X equal to two, we need either this. So one outcome, two outcome, and this is the third outcome. So the probability here is three divided by eight. And the probability that X equal to three is one divided by eight. So these are the possible values of X and these are the corresponding probabilities. After this, we are given that coin two is tossed X times and let Y be the number of heads we get with coin two. So if X is equal to zero, we do not toss the second coin. If X is equal to one, we toss the second coin once and so on. Let's write the various possibilities now. So because when X is equal to zero, we do not toss the second coin. So I'm not writing that. So let's only work with three possible values of X and those values are one, two and three. So the possible values of X that I'm considering are one. So X equal to one, X equal to two and X equal to three. And we are given that Y is the number of heads that we get with coin two. Okay. Now if X is equal to one, the coin two is tossed only once. So in this case, the sample space will be equal to H comma T. So either we get a heads or we get a tails. So that means the possible values of Y are zero and one. So the possible values of Y are zero and one. So either we get a head or we don't get a head. And the probability that Y is equal to zero, that means the probability that we will get a tail is half. And this probability is also half. Similarly, let's find the possible values of Y and their corresponding probabilities given that X is equal to two. So when X is equal to two, we toss the second coin twice. So in this case, the sample space will be equal to H H H T T H and T T. And the possible values of Y are zero, one and two. The probability that Y is equal to zero is the probability that we get T T. Well, this is one divided by four. The probability that Y is equal to one is equal to the probability that we get either this outcome or this outcome. Well, this probability is one divided by two. And the probability that Y is equal to two is one divided by four. So we should get this outcome if we want Y to be equal to two. Now let's find the possible values of Y and their corresponding probabilities given that X is equal to three. Well, when X is equal to three, we will toss the second coin thrice and the sample space in this case will be this only. 
Okay, so this is the sample space that we will get. And in this case, the possible values of y will be, so here, let's write the possible values of y. So in this case, the possible values of y will be 0, 1, 2, and 3. And the corresponding probabilities will be 1 divided by 8, 3 divided by 8, 3 divided by 8, and 1 divided by 8. Now in the equation we are given that we have to find the probability that x is greater than or equal to 2 given that y is equal to 1. So this is the probability that we have to find. Probability that x is greater than or equal to 2 given that y is equal to 1. Note that x can take 4 possible values. So the values that x can take are 0, 1, 2 and 3. So by x greater than or equal to 2 we mean that either x is equal to 2 or x is equal to 3. So we can write that by this we mean that we have to find the probability that x is equal to 2 given that y is equal to 1 plus the probability that x is equal to 3 given that y is equal to 1. Now note that in this question first we have to deal with x and once we have some information about x then we start dealing with y because this is how the question has been framed. So first you need some information about x because x is the number of heads that occur when we toss coin 1 and then coin 2 is tossed x times. So the possible value of y will depend on the value of x. So it would be great if we could convert this. So if we could convert this into something like this. So if you could write this in the form probability that y is equal to a specific number given some information about x. So this is what we are trying to do. Here we have this probability in the form that we have to find the probability that x is equal to a particular value given some information about y. And I'm saying that if we could convert this into this, where we have to find the probability of y being equal to a specific number given some information about x, then the question will be easy to solve because this is how we are given the information. First x is happening and then we get some information about y. Now let's see how can we do this transformation. We have here probability of x equal to 2 given that y is equal to 1. We know that probability of event A given that event B has already happened is equal to probability of A intersection B divided by probability of B. So we can use this formula here. So using this formula we can write that this probability, so probability that x is equal to 2 given that y is equal to 1 is equal to probability that x is equal to 2 intersection y is equal to 1 divided by probability of y equal to 1. Similarly we can write that this is equal to probability that x is equal to 3 intersection y is equal to 1 divided by the probability that y is equal to 1. Now we know that probability of event B given that event A has already happened is equal to probability of B intersection A divided by probability of A. And the probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of B intersection A. These are one and the same thing. So we can write that this probability is equal to probability of A intersection B divided by probability of A. And from this we get that probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of B given A multiplied by probability of A. Now in this question consider this as your A and this as your B. So this is how we have been working. So we can write that this is equal to using this formula. So this is equal to probability that y is equal to 1 given that x is equal to 2 multiplied by the probability that x is equal to 2 and this entire thing divided by the probability that y is equal to 1. Similarly we can write that this is equal to probability that y is equal to 1 given that x is equal to 3 multiplied by the probability that x is equal to 3 divided by the probability that y is equal to 1. So now we have to solve this expression to find the answer. So let's take it step by step. First of all, let's find the probability of the denominator. 
So first of all, let's find the probability that y is equal to 1 and then we will talk about the probability of the numerator. So note that y can be equal to 1. So see here, so y is equal to 1 when x is equal to 1 and we have y is equal to 1 when x is equal to 2 and when x equal to 3 then we have y is equal to 1. So we can write that probability that y is equal to 1 is equal to probability that x is equal to 1 intersection y equal to 1 plus the probability that x is equal to 2 intersection y equal to 1 plus the probability that x is equal to 3 intersection y is equal to 1. And now using the same formula that we discussed above that is this formula we can write that this probability is equal to probability that y is equal to 1 given that x is equal to 1 multiplied by the probability that x equal to 1 plus probability that y equal to 1 given that x equal to 2 multiplied by the probability that x is equal to 2 plus probability that y equal to 1 given that x equal to 3 multiplied by the probability that x is equal to 3. Now let's put the values here. So let's find the probability that y is equal to 1 given that x is equal to 1. So this probability is equal to 1 divided by 2. So this is the probability that y equal to 1 given that x is equal to 1. So this probability is 1 divided by 2. And when I started this question, we found the probability of x being equal to 1. Well, that probability was equal to 3 divided by 8. So this is 1 divided by 2 multiplied by 3 divided by 8. Similarly, let's find this probability. Probability that y equal to 1 given that x is equal to 2. Well, this probability is 1 divided by 2. And the probability that x is equal to 2 is 3 divided by 8. So this is equal to 1 divided by 2 multiplied by 3 divided by 8 and plus the probability that y is equal to 1 given that x equal to 3 well this probability is 3 divided by 8 and the probability that x is equal to 3 is 1 divided by 8. So this is 3 divided by 8 multiplied by 1 divided by 8 and solving this we get 27 divided by 64. So this is the probability that y is equal to 1. So this is our denominator. Let's find the numerator. So this is the expression that we are solving. Let me write it down again. So we are finding the final expression is that we have to find the probability that y is equal to 1 given that x equal to 2 multiplied by the probability that x is equal to 2 divided by the probability that y is equal to 1 plus the probability that y is equal to 1 given that x equal to 3 multiplied by the probability that x is equal to 3 divided by the probability that y is equal to 1. So this is the final expression that we have to solve and we have already calculated the probability that y is equal to 1. So now let's solve the numerator. Now we can find the probability of this numerator by looking here. So have a look at this expression. So this is exactly the same. So now we know that the probability of this numerator is 1 divided by 2 multiplied by 3 divided by 8. So this is 3 divided by 16 and the denominator is 27 divided by 64 plus this numerator is equal to this. So these are same values. So that means the value of this numerator is this that is 3 divided by 64. So this is 3 divided by 64 divided by 27 divided by 64. And solving this, we get that this is equal to 5 divided by 9 or we can say that this is equal to 10 divided by 18. Well, now if you look at the options that are given to us, this option is not there. So these are the options that are given to us. Actually, this should have been 10 divided by 18. So this might have been corrected at that time in the question paper. So the right answer is 10 divided by 18 and this is all for this question.